assignment was to stay with the subcommittee that was headed by Bartley Crump. Right. And I found my brother there. The Army said, anybody who's on the front line is home by now. Right. But my brother, who was a dentist, but he was treated as a doctor, right. was still in Germany. So we found him. And one day was for the Nuremberg trial. No kidding. And I sat there between these two men, Bartley Kromer, my brother, writhing with anger. I was, there they were, we were in the front line, and they came in, gearing, in a beautiful uniform. I learned later it was pressed from every single morning. Of course, all the medals were taken off, right. and all the others. And it, it was so horrible. There was such arrogance. You know, Gary acted as if he had won the war, mm -hmm. and all the others were sitting there. Some looked a bit humble. Of course, most of them were hanged later. Yeah. We listened to testimony, and I was getting more and more anger. These men had killed millions, and now they were acting as if they were heroes of the war. Then they show, took us back and showed us how they lived. Each one had a, it was really a room, but it had a cage. Room. Soldier standing in front of it. It had everything a bed, sink, toilet. They had their own library, 800 books. And I had just come from DP camps where those people who had suffered the most had no rooms. They were sleeping on the same tiers of bunks, straw the ones who burned, gassed, shot, slept on. Mm -hmm. and, and the feel of it was still in those camps. So they were treated very humanely. And <coughs> then they took us to see a movie. The army had done its own movie what was going on in Europe and what these refugees were doing. And it was the first time that anybody had done that. Our army had done it. Right. So we saw that. So, so it was a very exciting day, what was happening in Nuremberg. Was the city in rubbles? Do you remember the, the condition of the city? Well, nearly every city was. Yeah. Munich was practically destroyed. Nuremberg. Certain things were left untouched. Right. Like in Cologne, the dome wasn't touched. The cathedral. Most of the city destroyed. But the cathedral was untouched. It seemed the army knew exactly which things needed to be saved. When you walked out of that day looking at the Nuremberg defendants, did you feel revulsion? Oh, I want, I hate the killings, but if I had a gun, I said to my brother Irving and to Bartley, if I had a gun, I would shoot them. Yeah. Of course, I wouldn't, but yeah. I was so revolted by them. By their arrogance. Mm -hmm. They lost the war, but they just sat there listening, you know. Mm -hmm. 